Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jerry from Jerry's Garden. If you're new to my channel, thank you very much. If you click uh, like and subscribe, it will be very appreciated because we are uh, just a small channel. Uh, thank you very much to all my subscribers now and all the new subscribers and today video uh, for the last week I was uh, teasing you with some sort of uh, I've got something on the way it's still on the way unfortunately I will just keep that until it's arrived however today I want to do a quick update before we start with the new plant on the uh, other uh, situations because one was actually quite uh, scary I was like what the and yeah uh, the first update about the avocado if you grow with me from the from the stone i show you how to do that in my previous video as you can see i'm just gonna put it uh, there can you see that beautiful crack is uh, keep opening and you can actually see the little plant forming in the heart of this stone uh, as i say i change this water about twice a week sitting on the uh, sunny windowsill and it's doing well it loves it okay next if you watch my first video i show you my plants from the etsy i ordered and it was the marble queen photos and uh, there was a uh, trandiscantia zebrina and there was my rubber rubber plant right i decided that i want to repot them i already showed that video but i haven't uploaded it yet because uh, I've got other videos to go before that. However, these plants were in the nursery pot for two weeks after delivery and the pots were very small and they were overgrowing. Anyway, I replanted them and what I did, I basically take the, it's about the photos, okay? It's about the marble queen. I take the marble queen out of the pot just uh, and so the roots were nice and firm, nice and strong, put it into the new pot, voila! And thought everything will be fine. Two days later, I just uh, uh, found out uh, that the leaves start in browning and start having brown spots. And I was like, uh, that's not good. Because that's usually a sign that you overwater them or they dry out or they've got a uh, root drop. Uh, which I kept it for a couple of days and said, I will observe that maybe uh, they, they didn't have enough light because now they're living in the hanging baskets. Uh, in the window and it didn't didn't improve it's actually got worse which i decided i will di dig that uh marble queen out and check the roots of what's going on right i was actually uh not shocked i i was like what the hell is that i will just show you uh i'm not sure if you can uh, would be able to see can you see this it is the green you know the uh florist using it for the arrangements when they stick the flowers in and then my marble queen was actually stick into that and the roots were growing through it and around it which that's fine however this is keep the water is soak the water and it's like it's supposed to keep uh flowers alive right I was like what the hell and I was peeling it roots like, like a mud and I replanted and I found out actually that uh, my marble queen is too little um, like two little cuts which I uh, split them as well to give them more space more air we'll see how does it gonna go I will do extra video on that right today's video guys we are having hello telepium telepium which is also known as the witch's money box or the stone crop okay this is about two years old plan i never touched it never trimmed it and uh in our previous houses so it was quite sad because it was on the north facing window and i think it didn't have uh, probably enough light uh, but since a new house it's put this all new growth it's strong but uh, we will chop it off today and the reason why is if you look at in the middle it starts getting like leggy and start losing leaves and uh, that's because the pot is too big as uh, too big no it's not too bloody big it's too small <laughs> yeah but you can say a bit no it's too small and it doesn't have enough nu nutrients which i will show you how to propagate this plant it's brilliant plant because it's from the succulents uh, family but they will keep the water in the leaves it's very easy to propagate 
and if you're looking after it well it will pop out a flowers and they beautiful they are like pom poms big massive this is the red var variety and it's uh stick it out and put the uh flowers on top and they last for ages they last probably for about four to six weeks without even you don't need to touch in them uh they open and then when all of them open they they start dying off and then you just chop, have to chop it off and uh, hope for the best and for another lot of flowers however this plant is also you can grow outside if you've got any like alpine garden and you want something you know for the structure this is uh, this will grow up to one meter one meter tall and one me meter wide which is kind of like fill the space if you wanted to but i'm growing this on my windowsill because it's quite nice ornamental um house plant as well right now let's go on with it then you see this is just the nursery pot actually the original pot i get it and i think it's about about six inch pot little one right and what we're gonna do now guys i've got my garden scissors and i will just uh, do first chop here and what i want you to show show each of these plants has got i'm just gonna move it away can you see these roots coming out they are like growing nodes from each of these where you've got a leaf there will be a new shoots coming out all right which is ab absolutely fantastic because it's the su circle and they quite hard as well you don't need to be scared to chop them because once you chop them they put out a new shoots right okay sorry for a bit noisy uh but we uh do another floor um home and my other half decided to soar when i uh, shoot in the video Right, what I'm going to do, this is quite quite long, I'm just going to chop it here. And now I will take off these leaves. So maybe we're going to just try to chop them. Okay. What is important that uh, if you... So I'm just going to do a bit closer. If you propagate this plant... Uh, it's it's really it's easy you don't need to be worried okay you can just they they like like kind of uh hard harden it this is how it's just supposed to look like there is some little leftovers from the leaves you can just like unplug them like this make it nice and smooth but you can stick it as it was before okay right that's ready like that and what i'm going to do i've just got the jar here and I'm just going to start sticking them in. Okay. Now you can see I'm just going to chop them all. Which is kind of drastic. And you don't want to really see that. But really this needs a little bit of maintenance. And uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to maybe like uh, put them on the Etsy. However if you're interested in this plant. And you want this plant in your collection you can just drop me a comment down below and we can arrange like a postage or something uh you know the these plants are quite uh easy to find in the shops uh but uh you know if they establish like that you can just plug them literally outside into the into the uh ground and they, they will grow and they will grow actually over the winter as well because they're quite hardy okay so i'm going to do like this this is too little but you see it's a bit scary because now i chopped off all the plant and um if this is this dies i have no plant at all but it's got the beautiful new growth and you see size of the leaves if they got enough, this is one of the old leaves, that's why it's yellow. Uh, but they, they quite good size them. And what you do, sometimes they, 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 it's quite bloody hard as well to pull out bloody leaves. Oh, and you've got plant, this is a specially good specimen. This is good, good strong, uh, very compact. It doesn't go leggy or anything. What I may be going to do, because there's got like roots already here, however, 
uh, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna make it shorter like that and it's go into the jar okay you see that's one done I've got I've got all more of these to do but I'm not going to you know what I mean uh, you just need to, you know, make sure that you've got the old notes, uh, you know, try to make it nice and alive. This is as well. It's got a little beautiful, like, red, red, um, you know, around the edges, like, little red. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe. Maybe it will focus. Yes. And as I say online, you can find it as a as the uh, stone crop or the witch's money back and if you wanted to know how to grow them there will be a reference sheet available again on my website jerry's uh, uh, www.jerrys-garden.co.uk uh, you can find the reference sheet there in a section of watch me grow okay and uh, thank you very much if you're watching this video till the end it's very appreciated uh, I will be back again next Friday with another video and uh, what we're gonna do next Friday what should we do guys uh, I may gonna show you how I plant one of my favorite it's called uh, Zantadesia which some people call it as the Kala Lily and I had delivery the other day and I think they just need planting which I'm probably gonna do that and give you the reference sheet for them as well because I found them actually in a, a Chelsea flower show when we went and I think they are beautiful outdoor plants and uh, until then uh, yeah I will see you here next week thank you very much oh sorry not yet I just uh, forget to show you this is the cutting I took a uh, about a week ago and you see it's got already roots poking out from the bottom of this little pot and that's been in my greenhouse outside just to establish because when i water in it it's just a uh, standard multi-purpose compost with some uh perlite as well to drain it well but yeah it's doing great okay well now guys i will go on with this for next probably about 10-15 minutes and then we will be updating next week if we got the roots or not the usually the first one I did the roots actually appeared after about two days which was kind of a uh, speedy and I mean like bloody quick and if you've got any questions or uh, you know you wanted to share something about your plants I, I will be so happy because you know just drop me a comment down below with this video and uh, yeah and we can have a chat about plants right okay guys now you take care have a fabulous weekend and i will see you here next week take care bye bye